What's going on YouTube? It's Rashad Williams from 212 Exotic. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you the females in my collection. Intro, please. What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. Again, my name is Rashad from 212 Exotics. Thank you guys so much for last week's responses to my video. Uh, really meant a lot to me. Uh, I got a lot of positive feedback and um, I got a couple of suggestions and some things that I can do better. So um, as you can see, I got the pup here. This is uh, Charlie, everybody, or Charleston, or pups, or we call them some of everything. So um, this is actually my fiance's dog. As you can see, he's being a little little booger right now. But um, in today's video, we're gonna talk about the females in my collection. I know last week I showed you guys all of my males. Uh, this week, I am going to attempt to show you all of my females. Um, I do have some females who are locking with males right now, so I'll just try to show you them inside the tub. Um, I won't try to pull them out or stop them from doing what they're doing. So uh, let's get right into it. Let's start with the first female. All right, guys. So this first girl I'm going to show you is my Puma female. Um, Puma is a allelic combo with yellow belly and spark. So uh, this is her. Hope you guys can see her really well. She has a complete dorsal stripe. Um, I don't really have too many yellow belly combos in my collection. So uh, this girl is something that I wanted to get my yellow belly combo started. Um, hopefully she's growing pretty well. She's eating pretty well. So hopefully later on in the future, she'll be able to uh, make some good yellow belly combos for me I'm trying to get the camera to focus which it sometimes never does but anyway guys this is my puma female all right guys this right here is my yellow belly female who is double head clown pied um actually this girl was uh given to me uh she was released from someone's care who just didn't want to be in a hobby anymore. Um, I've had her now for about three or four months. Uh, she's eating great. She's growing great. Um, as you can see, she has some nice size on her. She's probably about almost 500 grams or so. So um, I'll look to definitely be trying to prove her out. So kind of said that wrong. I said she was double hit, clown pied. I'm gonna say she's possible hit clown pod. So um, this is my yellow belly possible hit clown pod. All right, guys, this right here is my inchy pod. What did I just say? I'm tripping today, y'all. I just got off work, so y'all gotta excuse me. This right here is my inchy head clown. Uh, this girl right here was produced by Gershon Porter at GP Snakes. Um, she got here, she was eating well for me, then I moved, and now she's in her uh, new environment, and she's only eaten once for me so far. Um, but otherwise, uh, she ate good last week. Hopefully that can continue on, but, uh, I'm hoping to produce some nice combos with this girl. Like I said, this is my inchy head clown. As you can see, she has some, uh, really nice banding on her. She's kind of holding on to me. She's about 200 grams, give or take. Uh, when I first got her a couple months ago, she was, I think 79 grams or something like that. But so she's growing steady. It's not like she's, uh, losing any weight or anything. She's doing real good. So hopefully I can prove her out, produce some good inchy clowns with her. Inchy head clown, y'all. All right, guys, this is my orange dream female who is in blue right now. Um, she was produced by Dizzy and Jason Emmons over at Creatures Critters, Critter Creatures. I'm really sorry for jacking up y'all name, but um, this is my orange dream female. I got her on a really good deal. She's been eating well for me. But like I said, she is in blue right now, so I'm going to go ahead and put her up. Orange Dream. This girl right here, man, this girl is my Savannah or my Cinnamon Mojave Head Clown. 
Um, I purchased this girl from Chico Reptiles. Um, she is a beautiful girl, as you can see, uh, that Mojave and cinnamon, what it does, and the head clown, which kind of gives it that straight line, that dorsal down the back like that. Clear belly, which is ever amazing. But um, this girl right here, hoping to prove her out with some other clown projects that I have going on in the future. Um, she's a really good eater, and hopefully she'll be uh, one of the amazing breeders that I have in my stock one day. So this is one of my favorites. Um, Mojave is my favorite single gene. Um, I'll explain a little more about that in another video on why Mojave is my favorite single gene, but uh, this is my Cinnamon Mojave or Savannah 100% Head Clown. This right here is my Clown Female Head Hypo. Um, I know in the last video I showed you guys my Fire Hypo Head Clown, and this is my Clown Head Hypo. So hoping to produce those, uh, hoping to have those two pair in the future to prove out his head clown, to prove out her head hypo and have some hypo clowns. Um, hypo is another one of my favorite recessive genes and I'm really looking to make some really good production with those in the future. Uh, this girl right here, I can't remember who she was produced by, but by the time I edit this video, it's going to be right here or right here i don't know one of them i think right here though it's gonna be right here in the video so um but this girl is eating phenomenally i'm surprised she's not being extra uh extra trippy today as she always tries to bite me i've been bitten by her probably about six or seven times um every time i open the tub she just tries to her best to bite me but this is my clown head hypo and like I said, hopefully she produces me some really nice hypo clowns in the future. So that's it. This girl right here is my pastel head pie. Um, I got her from Bam Exotics, which is in a Georgia breeder. I won't say an Atlanta breeder, uh, but is a Georgia breeder from down near Savannah. Um, this is my uh, another way to get into the pod projects, uh, she is getting bigger. She's about 750 grams. So I'm hoping that by the end of this year, she'll be ready to attempt to start breeding. Um, she is growing nicely. She never misses a meal. She eats anything you put in front of her. Um, sometimes she scares me the way she eats, but um, this girl has been one of the best looking pastels I've seen in a long time. Um, she's really holding those pastel colors, that high blushing, and she's really just been amazing to have. And um, I don't know if you guys can kind of see, I can try to get it to show, but right on the back of her head, she has like a slingshot or like a football mouthpiece or something like that. I thought it was really cool. But um, this, is one of my favorite examples of a pastel. Um, she looks really good, she eats really well. And like I said, hopefully she'll be producing me some nice pastel pods in the future. So this is my pastel head pod. This right here is one of my pie females. Um, I got her along with the yellow belly uh, possible head clown pod from the same person who was just getting out of the trade and you know, gave me this snake. Um, she's been a really good eater. She's about 800 grams. So hopefully I can get her started with my pie projects by the end of this year. If not, it's no rush, but she is a really nice example of a pied. Uh, she's a medium white pied, has a couple of spots on her right there, as you can see. Um, pied is also another one of my favorite recessive genes. Uh, it's just something about it is just amazing to me, whether it's banana pie, mm, inchy pie. Inchy pies are one of my favorites because they have that very low pattern um, and that really bright orange. So it's, it's really cool uh, to look at. 
However, I am wanting to get into some other pot combos, so hopefully in the future I can produce some. But this girl right here is a beast of an eater. As you can see, she is uh, no issues with body weight and she pounds food. So this is a pot girl that, like I said, I'm looking to get into my project. So one of my pot girls. This is my Super Mojave or Blue Eyed Leucistic, as you can kind of see. If it focuses, there it is. This is my Blue Eyed Leucistic or Super Mojave. Again, Mojave is one of my favorite jeans, so I really want to create some crazy uh, Mojave combos with her. And since she's a Super Mojave, anything or any male that plugs to her and whatever she produces will have Mojave in it. That is the biggest thing, uh, which is why I love her so much. Um, I am not looking to produce any Blue Eyed Lucy's. Not that something's wrong with them, but it's just not what I want to do with the Mojave gene. The Bell Complex is cool. However, it's not in my plans. Who's to say later on down the line I won't hatch any Bells out, but as of right now, I'm looking to create some crazy uh, Mojave combos with her. With the first one being, I believe I want to try an Inchi Fire Pastel to her so I can create some Inchi Fire Pastel Mojaves. I think those would be dope. So this is my Super Mojave Girl, one of my favorite snakes in my collection, and hopefully she'll do some crazy producing for me one day. This is another one of my pot girls. As you can see, she is a low white pod. One of, uh, well, this is my favorite look for pod is low white. As you can see, the low white, she has the white ring around her tail, um, a little bit coming up the sides, like right there, um, some on this side. Um, she is a big girl, she is about, 1600 grams um this is the girl that i mentioned in my last video which is why my banana pot hadn't started breeding yet is because this girl went off of food um she still has okay body condition she's not skinny by far as you can tell but like i said i did not want to pair her this year because she had stopped eating um sometimes it's better to not pair charlie you gotta move man Ain't nobody got time for that. Watch out, I'm sorry y'all, dog in the way. Sometimes it's better to not pair uh, when they stop eating like that, especially if they go off food before you even attempted to pair them, to not pair them. And what I'm thinking is that the move just, just stressed her out as well. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and put her back, but this is my favorite type of pie, which is the low white pie ball. So there she is y'all, low white pie. Real quick, I just want to take the time to shout out DB Exotic Morphs. Uh, I do have a snake from him. He was that yellow belly head pod that I showed you guys in the last video. But uh, DB Exotic Morphs, you can find him on Facebook, Instagram, and Morph Market. Uh, he does have Morph Market, and he has some pretty good snakes from sale right now. Quality in, quality out, everybody always says, and DB Exotic Morphs definitely has some quality snakes. Um, this next girl that I'm about to show you, I'm gonna try not to get bit by. Um, I haven't been bitten by her yet, but I can tell that her bites will hurt, so <laughs> I don't expect to get bitten by her. She is another one of my bigger girls, and she is being paired right now, so maybe she's a little more uh, calm. She is. Uh, she has finally stopped eating for me, so I'm looking for an ovulation here within like the next two weeks or so, but I am gonna go ahead and get this girl out. So this girl right here is my Pastel Mojave. Uh, she is being paired right now with my Banana GHI. As you can tell, she has some size to her. Um, she is pretty good. Um, she's been, she has a pretty good temperament right now. Like I said, she has one off of food, so I'm expecting the ovulation here within the next couple of weeks. Um, she has been building very nicely, um, and she's been doing really well. So hopefully I can produce some really cool combos. I'm really hoping for a banana GHI Mojave because those look super cool. So I'm really wanting one of those out of this clutch and hopefully 
she'll be able to produce some for me. Thanks, Charlie, for ruining my video because you're crying. Shut up. Anyway, y'all, uh, here's my pastel Mojave. I'm surprised she's being as calm as she's being because typically she is a force to be reckoned with. So, boom. Oh, yeah, this girl was produced by Albi Tuku. Albi or Albi Tuku Reptiles. I've never really known how to say his name. Forgive me. I know I talk to you all the time, especially at shows, and I have a couple of animals from you, so I'm sorry for not getting your name right. Um, but I think it's Albi's Two Cool Reptiles. Uh, he did produce this girl. Albi has some of the best lines of pastel that you will ever see. Um, and one of the girls that I'm going to show you next, she is being paired right now, so I'm not going to pull her out, but I am going to get the camera and show you guys. But Pastave or Pastel Mojave, y'all. All right, so here is the Pastel Pastel Mojave Spider or Mojave Bumblebee. This girl was also produced by Albie from Albie's Two Cool Reptiles. I'll make sure I put his name right there so you guys can go and give him a follow. This by far is the yellowest and most vibrant pastel Mojave Spider or Mojave Bumblebee that I've ever ever seen as you see she's locked up right now with my super fire which means everything that comes out of this clutch will be fire so i can get mojave fire bees or i can get uh, mojave fire bumblebees or mojave fires or pastel mojave fires you get it so um it's a i think about eight different uh, outcomes to what she can produce. So I'm going to put them back up because they're doing their thing right now. But like I said, this girl has retained the mess out of her yellows. She just looks amazing and she keeps getting better with time. So that is my Mojave Bumblebee. All right, this next girl I'm going to show you is also being paired right now. So I'm not going to too much bother her. But this is my normal, it's my normal being bred to my banana GHI, as you can see. Oops, sorry, there's a lot right there. Hopefully I didn't mess them up. But this parent has been going well too. Um, this is just to simply get some bananas and some banana GHIs and just some GHIs. Hopefully everything goes well, but this is my big normal female. And as you can see, Charlie cannot stay away. Charlie, say hey. Say hey. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> but um, hopefully, like I said, everything goes well. As you can see, they are a lot doing their thing. So I am going to leave them alone and let them do their thing. Here is another girl who I'm definitely not going to uh, mess with at the moment. She's not being paired because she's also being paired to my banana GHI, but she's already having had an ovulation. I'm just waiting on her prelay shed, but she is a feisty little something. So I really don't feel like trying to handle her. Um, but just so you guys can see, this is my black pastel. She has been paired to my banana GHI. And as you can see, she is a big girl. Like I said, I am just waiting for her prelay shed, but she has been doing really well for the breeding season. This is the last girl that I'm gonna show you guys. Uh, this girl is my pastel lesser head clown. Uh, she is currently being bred right now with a pastel clown. So hopefully I can get some killer lesser clowns, uh, pastel lesser clowns, uh, lesser clowns, uh, just the clown, um, <laughs> and some more head clowns. So, uh, this is her. She is being paired right now, so I'm not going to bother her too much either, but just to give you guys a look. And there you go. Just so you can see, as you can see, she's trying to get it on right now. 
you can see right there that they're locked up still. So like I said, I'm gonna leave them alone. Uh, this girl was produced by uh, Bob Vu at Bob's Balls. Uh, he is a known breeder, not just in Georgia, but throughout the United States. So um, I know this girl to prove out. I'm just waiting until it happens. So that's my pastel lesser het clown to a pastel clown. So I go ahead and leave them alone. All right, guys, that's all I have for this week. Thank you so much again for tuning into my videos and thank you so much for watching the last video. If you didn't see the last video, I am gonna link it at the end of this video. Um, I'm gonna ask that you please like this video, comment on this video, share this video, and make sure you're subscribed to my channel. Uh, next week's video, I'm gonna be talking about more of the breeding plans that I have going on as you guys caught a sneak peek of what I got going on today. And uh, my FB40 tubs came in, so I am going to attempt my own rack bill. So I'm going to be talking about that in a future video as well. Um, if you have anything for me, you can reach out to me at 212exotics on Facebook and on Instagram. So you can catch me again at 212exotics. And if you, uh, blah, 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 I got to record this all over again. You know what? I'm just going to do another take just like this. Boom. So. If you guys want to reach out to me, you can reach out to me at 212exotics on Facebook and on Instagram. Again, thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel. I'll see you next week. Peace.